Hello and welcome to this weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Greek. And Valentine's Day is coming up, so I'm going to step aside from some of our normal resources to mention a marriage devotional that I co-authored. The name of it is Held in Honor. Held in Honor, Wisdom for Your Marriage from Voices of the Past. I co-authored this with Matt Haste. Matt was a PhD student at the time. He's very strong in historical theology and history. And so we partnered together to produce this. The book has 50 different uh, devotional thoughts by thinkers all throughout church history. So we start way back in the first and second century, right here we have Ignatius of Antioch, who died in 107. And you can see some of the titles here, Ignatius of Antioch, Love Your Wife, Justin Martyr, Surviving a Bad Marriage, a Shepherd of Hermas, Guard Your Mind. And we can keep going, Hugh of St. Victor, uh, One Flesh and One Mind from around the year 1096 to 1141, Thomas Aquinas, The Book of Common Prayer, George Whitfield. Uh, and then we have a, a few lady authors as, once we get up to about 16, 1700. So here we have Esther Edwards Burr, and, and we have a little brief introduction as to who this person is, when they lived, and, and what they did. And then we have um, a paragraph. We're talking about one page, right? Here's Richard Baxter's. His is longer than usual. He has these numbered suggestions uh, to married people. It's, it's, really, it's really quite charming and insightful. Um, and then over on the facing page for each one of these, we have a modern devotional. I did most of these based on a scripture um, that relates to, to what was spoken about by the, by, the other, by the author, historical author. In fact, the only living person of the historical authors is John Piper, right? Every, everyone else here, Elizabeth Elliot passed away since we, uh, I guess right before we published this, but um, it spread all throughout church history. Um, I really um, love this little book. And I think I can say that even though I'm one of the authors because really what I love about it is the, the weight and wisdom of, of the authors throughout church history. Also, just speaking very bluntly, uh, the day we live in, there are so many people um, who write books or speak and then uh, are discredited in some way or ruin their ministry. And uh, I really like the fact that <laughs> 49 out of 50 of these people uh, don't have the option of doing that, right? Because they've long since passed away. And so there's just a settled nature to the wisdom that they bring. And I encourage you to check it out. Um, it's held in honor, again, written by me, or put together, I should say, by me and by Matt Haste.